Hello from Chination.com, this is Mark Chou Si. Today I would like to do a review on this airsoft pistol. This is a uh, airsoft gas blow blowback pistol, the WE brand Glock 18C. The Glock 18 and Glock 17 are very similar uh, in look, but the Glock 18C has uh, the full auto feature which you can switch with this thing here see full auto and semi and also the top here it's a uh, hollowed out kind of thing okay if I take the mag out you can see how it looks okay you see the front here you can see through and also touch the barrel the back here is fully covered up uh, itself okay the uh, Glock 18 here, the WE brand Glock 18 is one of the most realistic um, uh, uh, action kind of Glock replica. It's not under the name of Glock. It's just called the sorry. It's just called the G18C. G18. It's not a Glock replica. You, I mean, it is, but uh, it's not named under Glock, and it's not licensed under Glock. And uh, yeah, the gun here is fully, the lower frame here is all plastic with a nice textured grip. And uh, you can see that the here, the top, the slide is all metal. The internals are metal. Um, yeah, it comes with a nice brass barrel that is black in color. So it hides the barrel very well. You see? It hides the barrel so well. Okay. The sight here you see the iron sight okay it looks very much like a real clock very nice the mag okay everyone oh uh, one thing the trigger is also plastic and um, the one thing that I I don't like about the gun is that the internals is kind of fragile so the nozzles here you see my nozzle is already sticking so the spring inside must have been screwed up, whatever, but it still works. The uh, mag, okay, this mag, the BB follower, it will, it will be broken sooner or later. It's pretty fragile. I broke one of them already, but it will still work because the spring is there. <laughs> so yeah, the gun itself is fun to shoot, but um, it just needs a bit of uh, reinforcement. <laughs> so maybe like if, uh, you got one of these, you want to upgrade the internals and and do some mod yourself like that, okay? It's a gas blowback pistol, so you inject green gas here. You can buy the normal magazine or the long one. The long one holds 15 rounds. Imagine 15 rounds of full auto. Okay? Now, don't use the full auto all the time because it will wear out the, uh, wear out the gun. But here, you know, since we're doing a review, so I'll inject a lot of gas here and empty the whole mag to let you see how it looks. Ooh, lots of silicone oil. Okay. So we'll empty the mag with empty shots, just to let you see how it looks. We go blah, 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 like that. I know you guys don't want to see this. Like that, okay. So we'll be pressing down on the uh, on on the safe on the uh, catcher here, the slide catcher, and then we'll keep on like that, okay. So let's try. Okay, no aim on inside. Don't worry. Okay, let's try it on uh, for auto, which is here, lower, lower down. Okay, can you see it? Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> Vibrates like crazy and frees up like crazy. You see? Very insane. And right here, let's try some uh, semi. See? Semi auto. We're done. It's. See? It's super realistic, hard kicking, and fun to shoot. It shoots about, uh, like, say, 300 
to 320 uh, FPS only and um, like with normal BBs, with uh, aluminum BBs they should be below uh, 300 FPS for sure. But then I like doing indoor target practice and so I'm using uh, aluminum BBs. Aluminum BBs all the time. Well, I've been shooting a lot and uh, it's fine. They didn't ruin the barrel, they didn't affect the accuracy and stuff like that. For Canadian uh, market, they sell this with the gun and extended barrel and the mock suppressor which is how mine came and you need to um, disassemble the gun and then take out the mock suppressor, the longer barrel and then put the stock barrel back in. The stock barrel that this thing come uh, came with it's black coated so it's not one of those cheap brass barrel it, uh, it looked more realistic with the black barrel inside you see you cannot see the barrel so more realistic this gun here is very, very realistic and it's lightweighted, uh, kick hard, good recoil, good realistic action, and also a nice uh, indoor action shooting. You have to have a few of these mags around and then you go, it's pretty fun. So let's go to the range and test it out. Okay guys, we have uh, some clay dish target and the soup cans here, let's do some plink plink. We are using the Glock 18, I mean the G18C uh, WE brand gas blowback with aluminum BBs. Let's shoot the clayless target and at about 15 feet to see if we can break it. We are using aluminum BBs. Okay, as you can hear, there are some full autos going on too, and we can break the clay this target easily. Also, the um, cans here, nice, big dent. Okay, pretty fun. And now let's switch over to target shooting. Okay, guys, here you see there is a uh, bullseye target. Uh, see the penny there for uh, reference. And now we're going to shoot at uh, 15 feet on the top target, the top right target. Uh, and uh, we'll be seeing how the gun groups. Now we're shooting with aluminum BBs at 15 feet. Okay, I just uh, did some very casual targeting and you can see the gun did group uh, pretty nicely. Okay, and uh, don't forget that we're using aluminum BBs, uh, not plastic BBs, so it's a bit heavier and it's great for target shooting. You see it grouped well. You see the grouping and the penny. Okay, if I uh, take the penny and put it beside looks pretty nice. So that's the 15 feet groupings. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.